but gift cards have become the payment method of choice for criminals. Gift card scams are no longer small time either. One tri-state area couple recently lost their life savings. News 12 senior investigative reporter Walt Kane digging into that issue in this week's Kane in Your Corner. I would not want this to happen to anyone. Claire and John Malecki have been through a lot in 31 years of marriage, but what happened last summer was a blow they never saw coming. We never had problems in, throughout our marriage, and we still yeah, don't, right. but this was a test, trust me. They lost their life savings in a scam. She says all these are hackers and scammers that have access to your information. The scammers told John to stop the hack, he had to transfer money using gift cards. So for days, he traveled to stores like Target, Best Buy, CVS, and Walgreens, buying as many cards as the stores would sell him. By the time it was over, the Maleckis had lost $104,000. The whole fact was that they tell me I was going to be fully reimbursed. Were you suspicious of this? Yes, especially that he had him on the phone constantly. And I would say to him, hang up, I want to speak to you because something was not said and right with me. The Maleckis aren't alone. The Federal Trade Commission says in the past three years, losses from gift card scams have more than tripled. The total cost to consumers, a staggering $344 million. It allows total anonymity, and, that, and that's beautiful for bad guys. Cybersecurity analyst and author Scott Schober says because gift cards are anonymous, they've become the preferred payment method of criminals who then trade them online for another anonymous currency, Bitcoin. There's companies that will take that gift card and they will give you cash or they'll give you cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. How is anybody gonna to try to chase you down? The cryptocurrency exchange, Paxful, lets customers buy Bitcoin by trading gift cards. According to this report by the security company Agari, the site has become a bazaar for West African scam artists selling stolen gift cards. And the entire process, from receipt of the first gift card to transferring cash into a bank account, can take less than two and a half hours. Is there any reason for a cryptocurrency exchange to be accepting payment in gift cards? I can't see of a good viable reason other than it's, I guess it's technically legal, but it's so tempting for a cyber criminal to use that because they know that it's hard to get caught. So far, the government has been focusing on preventing scams by educating consumers but it hasn't been working. Last year, gift card scams in New York were up 103%. In New Jersey, they were up 115%. And other efforts haven't been much more successful either. Most stores now limit the amount of gift card sales they will make. Walgreens says its team members are advised to politely decline transactions larger than $750. But that didn't help John Malecki. The scammers just sent him to different stores, where receipts show in three days, Walgreens sold him 8,000, 10,000, and nearly $11,000 worth of cards. Oh my gosh, that's, you know, that's somebody's whole life savings. New Jersey lawmaker Verlina Reynolds Jackson says our investigation is proof retail workers need more training. And she's calling on state senators to pass the Stop the Fraud Act. Let's stop it before it happens. Let's raise the bar and, and train employees on being able to recognize the signs before it even happens. Others say the whole system needs to be changed. There should be an ID associated so that the purchaser provides ID and then the person who's gonna redeem it provides ID. As for the Maleckis, they hope by telling their story, they can help others avoid going through what they did. The nights that I sat up and couldn't sleep Thinking and thinking, <clears throat> what did I do? Why didn't I say something? In your corner, Walt Kane, News 12. Now, the retailer that sold uh, most of the gift cards to John Malecki was Walgreens. Walgreens has been in contact with him. They say they are looking into the situation. We will keep you posted.